The Layers toolset is new in PhotoKey 4. Multiple layers can be imported and can be placed above the foreground or between the foreground and background. Click the Add Layer button to create a new layer. With that layer selected, you can now import an image using the Add button in the Properties panel for the layer. You can see that in our foreground, the subjects there are, are overlapping onto this bench that was in the background, and so I want to try to put them behind the bench using this layer that I have imported. Once the layer is imported, standard position controls will appear on the canvas, and the layer can be repositioned, scaled, or rotated just as the foreground or background can. If the Fit To option is enabled, here I'm going to fit this to the background. All of the other position controls become disabled as the layer is automatically matched to the position and dimensions of the selected element, in this case the background. In cases such as this, the Fit To option works great as the layer with the bench on it and the background can be locked together. And then if we go into the position and we want to make any adjustments to the position or size of the background, maybe I'll enlarge the background a little bit and then move its position up. There, you can see that as we do that, the bench moves in tandem with the background because those their positions and their size are fit together, so it's locked in. In this case, the bench in the layer I'm working with was extracted from the background image using a third-party photo editor and then saved as a new layer with alpha transparency. The overall pixel dimensions, let me switch back to my layers palette, you can see here's the pixel dimensions of that layer and they exactly match those of the background layer that we're working with here. And so when those two are fit together, the bench drops exactly into the place that we want it to be. You can also drag and drop images from the OS directly into the preview pane of the layers toolset. So here if I open up this window, I have another layer here. I can drag that in and a new layer is automatically created and then that image is imported into the layer so we can position it there. Here I'm going to take this one, place it kind of up there above their heads, maybe reduce the size a little bit. And in this case, I'd prefer for this image to actually be behind the foreground instead of overlapping onto their heads there. And so I can use these up and down arrows to adjust the position of the layer that we're working with. So I just bump that down, and now it's behind our foreground, uh, just where I want it to be. No layers can be moved below the background. That's always going to be the base layer of the image, and any layers that you add in the Layers tool set will always be above the background. However, any layers, such as this one placed between the foreground and background layers, will receive shadows cast by the foreground. So in this case, I've got a shadow being cast over to the right here. So if I just grab this layer and drag it down there real quick, you can see how those shadows are cast onto that layer as well, because it's behind or below the foreground of our image. I'll go ahead and move that back up to where it was. You can delete any layer by selecting it and then clicking the Remove Layer button at the top of the toolbox. You can also remove or change the image contained in a layer using these buttons in the Properties panel in the same way as the main Import toolset. Items in the Layers toolset require no keying as they use alpha transparency information. For images to work correctly when imported into the Layers toolset, they must have an alpha channel storing transparency data. So if we look at the preview of this image with the bench, we can see that other than the bench itself, there is no data in the image. This is Everything else here is transparent. All of the layers in your image will be affected by the effects filters. In this case, we have a bleach bypass filter and a vignette applied to our composite. And if I just turn the bleach bypass off for a minute, you can see how uh, both the logo and the bench, I'll turn it on again, both of those layers are affected by that effects filter in the same way as our foreground and background images. The next video in this series will focus on using the effects toolset to enhance your final images.